So it's Saturday morning about uh, 5 o'clock. It's super cold this morning. We've got a really uh, super storm that's been uh, coming through here. It's about 9 degrees and we're burning a lot of firewood. So family's still in bed and I uh, was just going through the comments here. Uh, many of you guys know that yesterday I made the announcement that the Wrangler Star Channel has been um, nominated for uh, an up-and-coming uh, award that they do. And so I was just uh, checking some of the, the vote tallies. Uh, the contest, I guess, is between four channels. It's myself and City League Hoops TV, which is a, a, a channel that features basketball. I think it looks like uh, high school level basketball. And then there's Patty Shuka. That's kind of a kid's channel with singing and cartoons and such. And then Our Crib, uh, which just features a, looks like a suburban family and their life. So, as the vote is currently, uh, we have uh, 3,742. Uh, second place has 96, third 78, and fourth, our crib has 71. Now, that's a, a direct result is uh, because I have uh, had a call to action video um, asking you guys to uh, come over and vote, and they have not. So, <laughs> so let us not pat ourselves on the back too much. There's, a, there's still five days for voting, and this doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to um, come out on top. Uh, I don't know how much weight the, the, vote, the votes from subscribers actually carry. Ultimately, Google makes the, or YouTube makes the, uh, the, the final decision. So... Uh, latest video, you'll never believe this, was my call to action on that video. And I was just going through some of the comments here, so I thought that I would just do a vlog and respond to some of those. I'm unable to respond to a lot of the comments, so this might be kind of fun there. We'll, we'll try it out, see uh, how it goes. So, have a guy, uh, Gear Guru, that's very upset um, uh, that I'm asking people to click thumbs up on videos. Well, I do it because people forget, and, and it's uh, it helps. It helps. Uh, it's important to me uh, because it helps uh, to get a higher rating for the videos. And we're here to uh, to get as many views as we can, and and to spread the word and spread the knowledge. And so uh, I'm going to continue to do that. So if he doesn't, if you don't like that gear guru, um, I don't know what to tell you other than um, you get what you pay for. It's always my tagline. See, someone's asking about the music. I don't remember what the music is at the end of this video. So, Finn Blue likes the wallpaper and the shirt. You see me wearing that red shirt all the time. I uh, mentioned in the Bible study that uh, I bought three of those. Uh, Filson had a sale. I love Filson clothes, but I... The price of them just put them out of reach for me. So, so I kind of watch their uh, website. They have a web special site where they have really cheap discounted things, discontinued or things that don't sell very well, things that are a little ugly. And so that's what I, <laughs> I get to wear. So they had those uh, red shirts, and I got I had a credit with them, actually. So uh, I got three of those. So you'll be seeing those. It's going to be the official um, uniform of the channel for some time until they wear out. Fortunately, I like them. Uh, let's see here. I'm just scrolling through the comments. See if I can find something that really sticks out. So here's a comment from uh, Samuel Newhart. And Sam says that uh, his wife would like to see Mrs. Ranklestar have a channel for women, that she's not really into all the guy stuff. Um, and he would like to see longer videos. I really struggle with the longer videos versus the shorter videos. When I first started out, I did pretty short videos, and then I started doing long videos, you know, half hour or so, and those are tough. And you know what really drives the channel and what, what drives the content is I do what I want to do, but I also have want to make them as watchable as possible. And so I kind of watch a, a statistic on the videos called audience retention. That's the, most, that's the key feature. And if I start doing videos that are 30 minutes long, 35 minutes long or so, I start seeing that <clears throat> people start dropping off. You know, people are busy. They just don't have that much time. So then I try to go to shorter videos, you know, six, seven minutes. And pe some people like those, but a lot of people would like to have more detail. Um, a lot of complaint, well, I'm not say complaining, but commenting that uh, 
we'd like to hear more commentary. You know, why don't you explain what you're doing a little bit more? And it's it's hard to find that uh, middle ground. So what I have kind of fallen into, or what my what seems to be about right, is about an eight, I say a six to to nine minute video, moving it along, and and that works for most people. Let's see here. A lot of people um, uh, went over just making comments that they voted on the channel and uh, comment from <clears throat> Spooby Chan. I have have to say that over the last couple of weeks, I have watched a lot of your videos. Your channel is awesome. I'm currently studying for an associate's in forestry, um, and the way you've managed your timber is spot on. Just a lot of comments about um, this congratulations and thank you. Not a lot of substance in these comments here. One thing that uh, was surprisingly difficult when we went over, we were, before we did uploaded this video, we were checking out kind of how the voting worked. And so we wanted to be able to make sure that we explained it. It was not not uh, intuitive of all. It just really surprised me how difficult it was to go over there and vote. I mean, it was complicated. I mean, how simple uh, should it be to be able to go over and choose your favorite channel? But uh, a lot of people uh, wrote back and said they didn't even know if they had voted or they didn't know if they had voted correctly because you had to go through this process and answer four questions and it's very bizarre. We were looking yesterday at some of the winners uh, from last month and previous months, and the person with the highest vote didn't necessarily win the, the, the contest and get featured, so who knows what could happen. A lot of people, here's some comments, a comment from um, Speedy Spooley. He says, I'm happy to vote for your channel. Uh, since I've watched your channel, I've acquired two Grands, for Grands Force Brooks axes and a Filson hat. One thing that I have heard back on that's so positively from almost everyone, I think from everyone, anyone who's purchased a product from Grand Forest Brooks, whether it be a small forest axe or whatever, or a lot of guys have bought Filson hats, um, have really been happy with them. And I have too. I've worn Filson products for 20 years. Somebody said uh, yesterday, um, they should send you a lifetime supply of clothing as much as you talk about them. And I, I don't get anything free for them. And they, I started wearing them you know, 20 years ago, and they weren't uh, as fancy as they are now. You know, now they really have uh, went upscale, and their prices have went up even higher. They used to kind of market their stuff towards the no-nonsense, the working guy, and, and hardcore hunting and hunting guides. You know, and now that they're, I see their catalogs, they they must send one a week out here, To that um, they're really pushing towards the, the wealthy um guy that's going fly fishing in Montana or the wealthy guy that's going on a guided trip in Montana and question here about does Mrs. Rango Star have a great pumpkin pie recipe she does um, I'll, she, I asked her I, I shared this comment with her and I'll ask her if she might feature that my sister has a really good one too that is made without sugar made with maple syrup and it is uh, extraordinary as well So we have here just a lot of support for the contest and it'd be interesting to see, you know, if anything comes out of it, you know, if some people have um who have been featured on the YouTube channel say they you know they push them up over uh a million subscribers or push them up over a hundred thousand subscribers and I just don't know. I don't know how many people actually go and and click onto the um, uh, the main YouTube page. I, I don't. I don't know. So funny. I was talking to my uh, my wife the other day, and I always had this 
arbitrary number in my head that 60,000 subscribers was, you know, that was my goal. If I'd ever reached that, that, that would, I'd really have arrived on YouTube. And, you know, now we're looking at, it won't be long before we have 100,000. And I just never, never in my wildest dreams thought that the channel would come to that. It started out as a hobby and has really turned into something else. One thing that really inspires me on the channel, and just here's a comment uh, from uh, Gibi10 Video. He says, right on, how I found your channel was right after a triple bypass operation in the recovery stage, stage one gets a bit creative. And after decorating a house, I built a shed. The shed was 18 months in the making, and it's crooked and warped and leaking, but it's built. And while nothing on your scale, you are over my shoulder. I knew things I did not know instinctively. It was... Uh, you driving these drills. I hear that from uh, a lot of guys that, um, you know, a lot of people find the channel or watch a lot of the videos in, when they're in recovery. I do hear that a lot, that they maybe have had a back injury on the job or recovering from a surgery. And, you know, we've all been in that situation where you kind of, that's a good time to sit on the couch by the fire and watch videos and kind of just peruse the internet. And, um, a lot of people have found the channel that way. Also, I have heard from so many people that uh, enjoy the channel. Um, I hear the word therapeutic a lot, uh, which always surprised me at first, that uh, guys will tell me that they have got real stressful jobs, or they work in a high-stress environment, that it's really something that really they enjoy to come home and it's soothing to them um, to be able to, to slow down and, and it has a, a therapeutic effect and personal messages also from a lot of guys that have struggled with um, um, uh, mental illness, you know, whether it be bipolar or um, ADHD or just all types of issues that this has helped them uh, to remain focused and given them uh, kind of a place to start, and, you know, by starting taking care of them, their house and taking care of their tools. And it's, uh, it's wonderful. I just never thought that that would come about. And these personal messages like this, I probably get 12 or so a day. It's such a motivator. Comments on the greenhouse. Let's see here. Not a lot of I can sink my teeth into here. Makes you wonder kind of where, you know, what is the future of the when you start something like this. One thing that's that I've really noticed that um God has been pressing on to me uh, with, when I'm just, you know, God speaks to us through so many different avenues. Um, and for me, he speaks to me oftentimes through a lot of, uh, through books. Um, just, they find their way into my hand, you know, things they, some, a lot of them Christian books, that type of thing, or a lot of the old stuff like Pilgrim's Progress, or a lot of things by C.S. Lewis really have spoken to me. But God puts, we have a um, a, a modest little library and I've been grabbing different things, just just felt impressed too. And the thing that <clears throat> God has been impressing me is how important it is to um, remember that these gifts that we have been given, whether it be skills or talents, um, come with a responsibility. And the more that we have been given, the more that, that is expected of us. And also, coupled with that, is uh, what I've been shown is to be sure to um, re remember. Um, where you get these talents. Don't be thinking yourself more important than you are. Um, remember that it, it is I who have given you these and you, uh, you need to use them to honor me. So one thing that my family, what we've really been talking a lot about and praying about is you have to be careful. Uh, one of the most dangerous things for people is when you are heaped up, when, when accolades are, and, and uh, praise is heaped upon you. And that's something that we are constantly in prayer about to remain focused on what the purpose of this channel is. Is it to um, uh, bring 
is it for is it for fame or to bring accolades or um, riches or whatever for us and it's not we have really been careful in saying in prayer that this is something that is reaching people and we know it is because of the of the comments we get we know it is because of the the faithfulness of the subscribers so whatever happens in the future uh, we will give glory to God and understand that it's his grace that that we are even here today and that uh, have the have the ability to do this so um that's it. Let's see. Let me go through a few more comments, see if I can't find anything of note. You know what I might do is I might switch over. Let's switch over to some of the other comments because these are don't have a lot of substance to talk about. They're just um, a lot of well wishing. <clears throat> Well, that's probably it. That's probably enough talking. All right. Um, have a good morning, and make sure that you take a day this week, whether it be today, the Sabbath, or tomorrow, and um, spend time with your family. Have a day of rest, and, and remember where your blessings come from. We'll see you later.